Living with a deaf person at times can be really challenging, as the person you are trying to communicate with is not able to hear anything you say. You stand at the door for minutes, you keep on knocking the door and no matter how many times you ring the bell you get no response at all. The same thing happens when a baby is crying or you are in the room and you need help. A housewife or any other person with no sense of hearing will face these very common issues. In this video, I'll make a prototype model which can be used to let the deaf person know that we need her or him. So before I'm going to explain the working, making and programming, first a few words about the sponsor of this video for sending me these high quality PCBs. This video is sponsored by All PCB. Feel free to visit their website allpcb.com to not only find out what awesome PCB and assembly services they offer, but also to easily upload your Gerber files and thus order affordable and high quality PCBs quickly. Besides this, you will also get a $30 coupon balance which you can use to get your first prototype order for free. You can start by clicking on the first link in the description. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a long-range wireless notify system for blind people using Arduino, NRF24L01 transceiver modules and a micro vibration motor. A push button is connected with the transmitter side and a micro vibration motor is connected with the receiver side. All you need is to press the push button and the vibration motor will start on the receiver side. You can set the vibration intensity in the programming. You can make this project more advanced by using multiple transmitters. This way you can install one transmitter at the door, one transmitter with a baby and you can add a sound sensor. So when the baby is crying the deaf person will know and so on. I have already explained this in my previous tutorial how to add multiple transmitters with a single receiver. You should watch this video if you want to learn how to use multiple NRF24L01 modules. These are the same PCBs I used in the long range wireless battery voltage monitoring system using an Android cell phone application. I have already explained the PCB designing and soldering so I highly recommend watch my previous tutorial on the long range wireless battery voltage monitoring system if you want to learn how to make these NRF24L01 and Arduino based development boards. I didn't make any changes to the PCBs, I only added a push button on the transmitter side and the micro vibration motor on the receiver side. So anyhow this is just a prototype model, the size can be reduced. We don't need this area on the left and right side. The NRF24L01 module and the micro vibration motor can be fixed underneath the Arduino Nano. I designed these parts in the SolidWorks 2016 with the same exact dimensions to check if these modules will really fit underneath the Arduino board. Now all you need is to design a plastic enclosure for this and then you can wear it like a watch. The size can be further reduced by using the Arduino Pro Mini. So this way you can make a small variable device and then you can power up all the electronics using a small LiPo battery. I'm sure you have got the idea of what you are going to learn after watching this video. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the DC 3 volt 12,000 RPM flat coin button type micro DC vibrating motor. This micro vibration motor is widely used in mobile phones, RFID scanners, toys, healthcare products, electronic products medical equipments or industrial tools etc. For the easy use and to avoid any damage, I fixed it on this small PCB board. This micro vibration motor has two wires, the red and black. Red is the positive and of course black is the ground. Now let's take a look at the transmitter and receiver side circuit diagrams. 
This is the transmitter side circuit diagram. The VCC and ground pins of the NRF24L01 module are connected with the Arduino's 3.3 volt and ground pins. A decoupling capacitor of 10 microfarad is also connected with the VCC and ground pins. CE pin is connected with pin 9. CSN is connected with pin 10. SCK is connected with pin 13. MOSI pin is connected with pin 11 and the MISO pin of the NRF24L01 transceiver module is connected with the Arduino's pin 12. A push button is connected with the Arduino's pin 5. This is the receiver side circuit diagram. The NRF24L01 transceiver module connection with the Arduino remains exactly the same. The red wire of the micro vibration motor is connected with the Arduino's PWM pin 5 and the play wires connected with the Arduino's ground. I designed a development board for the NRF24L01 which I can use with both the transmitter and receiver sides. I added these extra holes on the left and right sides for soldering other electronic components. I also added female headers for the 5 volt, ground, analog and other I.O. pins. This way I can easily interface other input and output devices. I double checked all the connections and once satisfied I generated the Gerber files and placed in online order on the all PCB official website. These are the PCBs I received from the all PCB company. As you can see the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the black color solder mask looks amazing. Next, I started off by placing the components and completed the soldering job. Both the circuits are exactly the same. At this point you have to decide which one you want to use as the transmitter and which one you want to use as the receiver. I connected the micro vibration motor and the push button is for the circuit diagram already explained. Now let's take a look at the transmitter and receiver side programming. This project is based on two programs. One program is written for the transmitter side while the other program is written for the receiver side. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. These are the same programs which are used in the long range wireless battery voltage monitoring system. I did a few changes which I am going to explain so first let's start with the transmitter side programming. This time I added these two lines for the push button. In the white setup function, I set the push button as the input. In the white loop function, we read the digital state of the Arduino's pin 5 and store it in the B state variable, which is then stored in the data array 8 at location 0. And finally, we send the data array to the node 00, which is the receiver side. Now, let's take a look at the receiver side programming. On the receiver side, I deleted the libraries which I added for the I2C LCD. I defined a pin for the micro vibration motor. I selected pin 5 of the Arduino, which is the PWM pin. The reason I'm using a PWM pin is to control the vibration intensity. In the white setup function, I set the vibration motor as output. Finally, we check if we have received the data from the node 01. So if the data is received, then store the value in data1. Then we use the two F conditions to check if the received number is 1 or 0. If the received number is 1, then stop the vibration motor 
and if the received number is zero then it means the push button on the transmitter side is pressed so the Arduino starts the vibration motor 200 represents the vibration intensity you can set any value between 0 and 255 so that's all about the programming I've already uploaded the two programs now let's watch this deep people Arduino wireless project in action support me on patreon for more videos I hope you like today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching